In this video, we're going to dive into Fusion's curvature map analysis and try to better identify when a thickened surface is going to fail. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and to get started, we're going to take a look at four different examples of surfaces. We're going to show the tool, and we're going to figure out if we can predict where these surfaces are going to fail. Now, this is a tricky one, and this is a question that I get all the time. People constantly ask, how do I know how to thicken a part if it's going to fail? How do I know where it's going to fail? What tools do we use? So what we're going to do is first take a look at inspect and curvature map analysis. Now, I've covered this before, but I want to identify the problem a little bit better in this video. So for example, on this part right here, we're going to be using principal maximum, and we're going to set the maximum limit to the thickened value that we want. When I set it to five, notice that this face turns this sort of yellow color. Now, if I set that larger to six, it's red. Now, the reason for this is because that fillet is five millimeters. So what this means is if I thicken this inward, anything over five, that surface is gonna disappear or the area where that red line is, is gonna disappear. And we can highlight that by going to create and thicken. Now, if I select this surface and I thicken it inward a distance of five millimeters, that's the point where we get outside of the range where that fillet still exists. Now, Fusion is actually pretty smart in most cases where it can handle that. Now, especially when we have a prismatic part that has a true constant radius fillet, it can very easily just delete that and patch that corner. Very similar to if we were in the solid tools and I just selected and deleted that. It knows that it can extend the two inside faces and that it can create that sharp corner. But we have more difficulty when we start to work on complex shapes. So we're gonna show the exact same thing, curvature map analysis, principal maximum again, and then enter the value that we wanna thicken. So we can see here at five millimeters, we've got a red bar here. Now, if I start to reduce this four and a half and four and so on, four, there is no red bar there. But as we increase over that, we start to see that red bar. So what this tells me is that as soon as I thicken this past four millimeters, that's where the surfaces are gonna start to have issues. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna do negative four millimeters. And if we rotate on the inside of this, it's not quite a crease. It's still curvature continuous on the inside, but it's getting to be a very tight corner. If I do five millimeters, now I have a sharp corner. Now, this is a unique case, and honestly, this is not what usually happens when you're dealing with thickens that are gonna fail. But in this case, Fusion was actually able to patch these two surfaces into that sharp corner. Now, most of the time when you're dealing with complex shapes that are more than just an extrude, you'll find that it has a much more difficult time doing that. In this case, because the original surface was just a simple extrude of a spline, it was able to patch that for us. So what happens if we take a look at something a little bit more complex? Uh, so this obviously has a couple of things going for it. It's got some tight corners at the top, and it also has this transition here. So when we use curvature map analysis, you can see that we've got a lot going on. There's two red lines here. It intersects with this corner here, and then we've got a little bulge coming out. If we rotate this around, we can see that on the inside as well. So this shape was done with a form and it's fairly complex, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna fail. So when we go to thicken, we're gonna try this first at five millimeters outward and we can see that it works okay. Now, if we flip that around and we go inward at five millimeters, again, we had those red lines, we can see them. It starts to do some very funky things with the surface. Now. It's twisting around at the top because thicken goes out normal to the direction of curvature, but we don't have any weird pinches or things going on on the inside. However, this is not a surface that you would wanna do anything with. Now, if we go back to that last feature and instead of using, let's say five millimeters, we'll use one millimeter. This is a much better result. Still not perfect, but it's a much better result. We can see here that it's doing some weird things on the corners, it's rolling around and there is a pinch that happens in this corner. However, it still has given me a solid body. So what is this telling us? Because the curvature map analysis didn't really indicate that it would be able to survive. Well, what we can do here is we can go back to our analysis. In this case, I'm gonna to go to that surface. I'm gonna hide the solid, and we're gonna edit the curvature map analysis. I'm gonna go all the way down to one millimeter, 
And you can see at one millimeter, I still have those red lines. So this still indicates that the solid is going to potentially have some overlapping problems. So this doesn't really answer the question as to how we know if a surface is gonna fail or not. And unfortunately, we really aren't going to know. It's kind of going to be hit or miss, but we can definitely identify problem areas that happen based on using curvature map analysis. Now, if we take this number down to a value where we have almost no red lines, half a millimeter, this is generally going to be where the highest quality surface is going to be. And so what I mean by that is if we edit the thicken and we make this a half a millimeter or smaller, that inside surface is gonna be much closer to the outside surface. However, everywhere that we had those red lines, we are still gonna end up with these pinches or overlapping regions. So let's take a look at just one last example. It's a little bit larger surface, kind of is like the side of a car or a bumper or something like that. And this one has a few key areas where we will have a failed surface. And I'm trying to highlight those by making them a little bit worse, but it's not going to be in the areas you think. Now, when we're dealing with complex surfaces, generally the killer of those when we thicken is going to be a creased corner. Anytime we have a creased corner, or potentially if we have star points or things that happen in our freeform models, those are gonna be the areas where you'll see a failure. And we can find those by using offset or by using thicken. And we're gonna start with thicken. So for example, if I take this section here, we'll do five millimeters one direction, we'll start to go the other direction. And you can see that even though this is not a good surface, it's kind of flopping over itself and overlapping, it is still giving us a solid model. If I use this bottom section here and do sort of the same thing, it's not a good surface or solid by any means because it's sort of wrinkling on itself, but it still gives us a solid model. However, if I select the entire surface and I do, let's say, minus one millimeters, we are getting a solid, but these are the areas where we're gonna start to see problems. The areas where the two connect at those creases. If I increase this to two millimeters, it fails. Now, part of the reason for that is because, as I mentioned, when we thicken, we're going out normal to the curvature. So normal to the curvature in a, in a situation where we've got this sort of lip here, it's going out in two different directions. And what Fusion has to do is actually extend those surfaces. You can identify or help find these areas by using tools like offset surface. So for example, if we offset this surface, it's creating this sort of pinched shape. And if we do the same thing up here and we offset that another two millimeters, it essentially has to figure out how to connect these two surfaces together. And what I would say is if you run into this problem where thicken fails, then start to use offset surface of each individual surface, see if you can get a result. And then you can work your way back with that tool and you can select multiple surfaces, trying to get a result and see if it can patch them together. Now, what ends up happening is if that's not even possible, what I try to do is I try to make an offset surface of the surrounding faces. So in this case, minus two. And then I will extend these out, whether using extend or ruled surface. And I'll do the same thing up here, extend this down. And we'll either overlap them or get them into a situation where I can bridge them together. And this is going to allow me to get around any potential problems for offsetting this. But you do have to understand the inside geometry will be different than the outside geometry. The other thing that you can do is go back and fix the curvature of those areas, make them a little bit better. And we can do that by doing things like deleting those that geometry and reconnecting them with lofts. If you want it to be straight, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, you know, some sort of weird shape, but you will want to try to fix those areas, potentially add fillets and see if that'll work. So for this one, let's go ahead and go to this last selection, select the entire body. We'll try to thicken it inward two millimeters and see if it'll allow it. All right, so you can see we got a solution. We were able to thicken it inwards at two millimeters. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a great starting point. So sometimes you do need to do a little investigative work. You need to use some of these tools at your disposal, but keep in mind that it is not going to be 100% clear in every case. 
So when you run into these problems on your own models, I would first start by using inspect and curvature map analysis. Find the areas where you want to thicken that are gonna be problems. And if you can, make sure that you edit those corners or the, that geometry. But remember that certain things more often than not are gonna present problems. Things like areas of high curvature, especially near a crease, those are gonna be your problem areas. Making sure that your inputs are as smooth as possible and making sure that the maximum limit for your curvature is going to be within the range of your thicken will almost always ensure that you have a good, clean result out of that thicken tool. Now, if you have any questions on this or anything else, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.